Hey YouTube, Esther Tolly. Um, I said in one of my videos I'd talk a little bit about some powders and quite honestly I, I didn't study up for this one. But, <laughs> but I do have a few here that I could show you that I use normally. Uh, I don't really have a ball or spherical powder per se. Uh, at least not that it's an obvious spherical powder. But I'm going to try to zoom in and this is, the first one here is a short stick powder, or at least they look like short sticks to me. So, see if we can get that in there. And what it's going to show you, I don't quite know. Probably not much. And hopefully you can see enough of it. I've got all the bottles are sitting here with the powder right in front of them so I don't mix them up when I put them back in the bottles. Um, maybe I'll zoom in a little more. Oh. So this is kind of a short stick. This is a Hodgdon Benchmark. And I found this works really well in my target rifles for the most part. Works really well in the 308. Um, haven't really tried the benchmark in 223. Varget worked pretty good in 223, which is a much bigger stick powder, but we'll get to that. Uh, but these are just kind of a really short cylindrical powder, which meters really well in, and I've used the Lee powder measure on it and it's measured pretty well. This one is, see if we can get that in there, IMR 4198 and it's a much bigger stick powder. Uh, still a little smaller than Varget but it is a stick and it's obviously a cylindrical stick powder. So that's kinda, now you know when we talk about a stick powder this is the kinda deal we're talking about. So, dump that back in. Now when somebody's talking about a flake powder, they'll be talking more about this. This is unique. And unique is a powder that I use a lot. I use it on my 45 Colt. Uh, Alliant 2400 is not far off from Unique, but it's a Magnum powder. I use that in my 357 Magnum and my 41 Magnum loads. So I'm hoping that you can see this okay. And these are flakes. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick up a flake and show you, but you'll get the idea. And they're a pretty good size flake. Um, blue dot and red dot also by Alliant, will have actually red and blue flakes in them along with this type of flake. So that's a big flake and this meters has metered really well for me in the uh, Lee powder measure. I don't get any leakage from it um, or any of that. Tight Group by Hodgden is another flake powder but they're very uh, well, they're, they're pretty small flakes. I'm hoping you can tell the difference between the unique and the uh, tight group. And then, so it's just a smaller flake. Uh, I use the tight group in a lot of my pistol loadings. This, if we can get it to show up, is an even smaller flake. And this is accurate number two. Um, and it's it's fantastic in I like it especially in a small caliber pistol like a 380 or a 9 millimeter uh, because it's a really fast burning uh, powder and uh, seems to launch those projectiles pretty well. But that's kinda that's about the really fine flake and this will leak out of the Lee powder measure all day long. Uh, and the Hodgen type group leaks as well. But 
if you got your uh, powder measures clean when you start and uh, all is well with the uh, oh the Lee what the hell uh, what do they call it the Lee perfect powder measure or something like that I don't know um, it's a pretty good measure and it does a pretty good job the leakage is terrible well it's not terrible if you can, if everything's clean it's not too bad um, so we'll get that put back in I've been finding uh, accurate number two is really difficult to find lately this is um, it's kind of a cylindrical powder but it's kind of a flake it's kind of like a hybrid of a cylindrical flake stick I don't know it's weird powder but it works really well in the AR-15 it's a BLC2 or BL-C and 2 is in parentheses um, and it works really well I like it in the AR it's an accurate powder uh, it's not terribly expensive you know some of these uh, benchmark was when I bought it was 24 bucks 4198 was 25 unique was 19 tight group was 20 I bought this accurate number two is pretty old it was 17 bucks um, BLC 2 was 22 bucks and I use a lot of the BLC2. It's uh, I'll zoom this out. It's one of my favorite uh, all-around powders for the AR, uh, just for like a run and gun kind of load. So that's just briefly a little bit about some powders that I use. Um, and these are these are my main go-to powders. There's others that are, I don't know, less of a go-to, I guess. Too many things up here. But, they're all, uh, they all have their place. Jeez, uh, knocking crap. I got too much crap on this bench because I've been doing so many different things on it. Uh, I've been reloading, I've been cutting leather over here. <laughs> so, put those powders up out of the way. But I do have the uh, the new Lyman Brass Smith powder measure all set up, and we're going to do a little testing with it. And I'm going to test all those different powders that you saw, uh, especially the accurate number two. We want to see about leakage. Now, most of the tests I've seen on the internet, on the YouTube's with this powder measure. Um, haven't showed any leakage. The big problem I've seen with other powder measures, especially the Lee, is with the stick powders, it doesn't want to cut the sticks. And when you're trying to get an accurate load, you need something that's going to cut that stick up. You know, if a stick gets in there, and it's got to cut one in half, just the way it is. So I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to test. We'll use a benchmark. I'm just going to do rifle powders. The 4198 uh, and the BLC2, since you know what those powders look like, I'm just going to use those three and we'll test a few loads with it and see how accurate that powder measure is. So, I'll be back with you as soon as I get this set up. <laughs> 